Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thanks so much for being here. We're looking at one of my favorite current Bible series. This is the McLaren from Thomas Nelson. Thomas Nelson has two of my very favorite current Bible series. It's the McLaren and the Sovereign, especially in their leather soft because their leather soft is such extraordinary quality. I've compared I would say on the Sovereign, the leather soft and the, the leather, the genuine leather, the genuine leather in real world price is twice or more, but I like the leather soft better. So this is the McLaren named after Alexander McLaren, and this is the compact series, black leather soft. So I appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out, and we're going to look at it. And uh, I may have given them some of these ideas. I don't know about for this one. But now their Premier Series is good as well. So it's guaranteed for life. It has a little house logo. It's Comfort Print, which 2K Denmark, they're doing a Comfort Print. I think Tyndale, Holman, doing some type of Comfort Print from 2K Denmark. Just an extraordinary reading experience, a revolution and the ability to read maximized uh, the Bible. So it's in the King James. I think they make this in the New King James. Now, I personally like clamshell boxes. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have Sister Waldron zoom in on the side of this, but I like clamshell boxes. Now, a two-piece box, you know, kind of comes up and down. Clamshell opens out. Now, these are very elegantly done. I wonder if they're done by a friend of ours up at Nelson who designs things there. Um, but I'm not sure if I like this box better than the old that they used for years, the gold the box. It was like it had like a vanilla gold accents. It was an incredible box. Thomas Nelson. Um, Cambridge has had some great boxes. I've actually did a video many years ago about different iterations of the Cambridge box. But you can see it has real Bible bands. That's incredible. Okay, and I paid 20 something dollars for this. Now it was on sale from christianbook.com, which is a great place to get, and, and they don't pay me to say that. But you can see it has two ribbon markers too in a compact. Does it say the size? I didn't bring my ruler over. I debated since we've moved into our new studio. It's got seven point size uh, print. I just haven't brought my ruler over here. But I mean, in good thick ribbon markers. I know we've talked to Nelson about this. And it's two different colors. Now you might say, well, what does the two different colors matter? I'll tell you why it matters is because that way in its diagonal cut lace, you know, like you can have one for the Old Testament, one for the New Testament. Or if you're up preaching or teaching with this and you have it, it, it really helps because the two black ones can get kind of messed up. Now, they're not real long, but it is a compact Bible. Let's see if they're the same length. They're not. The black one is actually probably a quarter of an inch longer. And so that's actually good, too. And it's got the blue accents. And this is all made for reading enjoyment. And I'll tell you, if you would have told me, let's say in the 1980s, if somebody would have handed me this Bible, I would have said, man, that's a good, thick, kind of top grain cowhide slash calfskin leather. I would have never dreamed that they could make imitation leathers of this quality. They're petroleum based. This is the greatest time in human history to buy a Bible. As a matter of fact, as far as, and it's got, it's not uh, art gilt edging, but it is gold edging, and it does have the stitching. As far as something just kind of a step above, here's the stitching, a, uh, you know, the giant prints they've got for $6.99 and $10.29, that's a real world price. That's again leather soft or an imitation of their, the 699 at Job. As far as something that's kind of in a quasi, uh, what would you call it? A, a higher end Bible, you know, for 20 something dollars, 
it's tough to beat this. And it, it's this and the Sovereign are two of my favorite. Now, you need to shop. This was copyright 221, printed in China. Now, I do know it does have the epistle dedicatory in here. It doesn't have translators to the reader. That Thomas Nelson, because of the pandemic, because we were getting the premier study Bible done with them through in China, that they've gone to India and Korea with some of their newer, even though China's been printing some incredible Bibles. So let's just let you take a look in here. And it doesn't have a ton of room to write, but a, a small Bible in readable print. Now, all seven point print is not the same seven point print. There's a lot of factors that go into it. The space between the letters, the space between the lines. Is it lined match? Because Bible paper is very thin from one side of the Bible paper to the other. How many letters are per line? There's a ton of factors that go into readability. And so most seven point print Bibles my 57, soon to be 58 year old eyes, and this is 223, could not read. But I can read this. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And God created man in his own image and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now, it's also sewn binding, so it should lay flat in Genesis, but it doesn't. And the reason is, is because it's so small and thick. So it's very small. Like, I don't have the largest hands in the world, and I can easily do that. And uh, my Schuyler Traveris just towers over it, as you can see. I would compare the print, but I'm not going to do that today. I mean, the Schuyler Traveris is going to have just better print, obviously. It's like nine and a half point print. But this is just fantastic. The blue ribbon marker. Oh, let me let you see what it looks like in there. It's like aquamarine. It's, that's one of my favorite colors anyhow. And then it just goes off on the blue. You know, traditional black and all this. This is blue. Now, it has uh, subject headings as you read, but not at the top. Now, without a ruler, I would say that that's probably somewhere close to a half inch at the bottom of writing, maybe even a tad more. A half inch at the top. At the top a half inch in what's known as the gutter. And probably a half inch maybe as small as 0.375 inches to the side but for a small bible a lot of room to write it is not red letter red letters didn't come about till 1898 with louis klopsch but it's not red letter so let's see if it's got any goodies at the back let's take a look at this and i don't think it does but let's just double check we don't have to see if it's red letter in revelation because it's not there. It's not red letter. So it has one, two pages to write, and then a note with the type showing Thomas Nelson's been the guardian of the text. Let me compare it to, to a uh, large print text only Cambridge, which if I just had to pick one Bible to pray, read, preach from, it would be the Cambridge large print text only. Also, if they still print it, it's known as the Family Bible from Trinitarian Bible Society. But it's got some extra stuff in there and it makes it a little too thick from TBS. But uh, I mean, you can just see. So this Bible is gonna real world somewhere around a hundred bucks. This one real world, I got it for 20 something dollars. So I can buy four of these almost for one of these. And I'm going to say, even though this is French Moroccan leather, now French Moroccan leather is not the same thing as Moroccan leather. A lot of people get confused. Moroccan leather is goats from the highlands, usually of Nigeria. I think it's not Niger, it's Nigeria, I think. 
and uh, French Morocco is normally sheepskin, and it's not real good skin. But I mean, this is probably a better quality Bible than Nelson, and it comes with two ribbon markers. Nelson's only doing one now. Excuse me, Cambridge only doing one now with the family. So the McLaren series, I mean, back in the 80s, I do think I mentioned this to Thomas Nelson. Like, we came out with the Premier Study Bible. They come out with the Premier series. We talked to a lot of their people. I think they just take good ideas. I don't fault them for that. I don't mind them doing it. But we mentioned in the, in the 1980s, there was a, the Open Bible especially. They had a, a genuine leather that had an incredible grain to it. And this has a very similar to that grain. But to have Bible bands on here, I mean, absolutely unbelievable. Because only the finest Bibles in the world have that. I mean, uh, my Schuyler Traveris has some. Let's see if the Schuyler Canterbury has some down here. Uh, they do. But I don't think they're nearly as good as Nelson's. So compact McLaren black leather soft they make it in a brown I think maybe a burgundy it real worlds uh, in the 20s right now USD is in the 40s I think that says 49.99 tough to beat you know it's no references this is just a Bible no concordance Bible to carry with you Bible maybe to preach out of uh, travel with it's going to last you a long time you can get three or four what we use them for at our church is giveaways now we don't give one to like every guest i wish we could but like special occasions and stuff we'll give that bible away and so god bless talk with you later thanks for being here fall in love with the word of god check out our other videos join us daily and share with your friends put on social media help us out god bless you i'm not on social media so help us bye-bye